Hey all, welcome to my video. Today in this video together we will model this board. We will model a lot of sheet metal, assemble and give relations and ultimately we will define a hinge angle. Let me close this one and open a new part. Yes. In the font plane I will create a sketch. Something like this. A set center rectangle. 100 and 55. Then I close one. Base flange tab sheet metal. It is 3 mm and the rest I believe how it is. After hem 300 degree and 3.1 and then we will make this 4.05. This is uh, the diameter of inside. This is good. Then I will define some corner radiuses. I want to have bigger ones. Let's make it 10. It looks nice. And then I will look normal too. And here uh, create some holes. Because two sides is identical except the cutouts, I would like to finish from first part and then start to uh, work with the second so we will not repeat unnecessary operations this is the idea okay here we have a 25 and here we have a 40 and i will define here length of 12 and a half and here i will define 27.5 this is good and I can make this a little bit closer and then one here I will assign that's good and uh, what I do now go to features whole wizard and this option standard then and type is this one positions one here one here one at the origin this didn't work but we will do this way drop here and then give relations simply uh, press control select two object and complete it this is good in the front plane i will select this uh, a top plane sorry and then i select this object mirror there will be here one more mirror but i think that's fine and I have this this looks good and we can save it now I have a folder here I will put the example and then let's make the name 01 now I will define the cutting regions then I create here a sketch simply I will create three time sketch three rectangle in fact in one sketch and then from origin to here i will define one line and this line will be a construction geometry now i will make this three edge same that means equal and the length here will be 25 in fact the gap in between and this sketch OK, exit cut, through all both. So we got this one and it looks good. Let me go to my folder and press Ctrl and pull this part and copy any one. And then come here and change the name and open that again. In fact, same part, except the cutouts. OK, sorry. We will not do this let's save first delete the two and then copy again we need that cutouts as well same operation we open this guy yes we have it let me here and we right click edit sketch we look from normal select everything construction geometry this will also convert, but I will here 
make it again construct geometry select this guy rectangle place here two new rectangles okay looks good and now we got the counterpart it looks nice right and we can open an assembly and invite this this two handsome guy to my assembly environment one and two more component rotate okay good made these versus here and these versus here simply i made a coincidence i can make it again i felt I felt a bit doing in wash mate you should select two objects in this case cylindrical objects and then i will get a concentricity second operation will be selecting two flat surface and in height they are in right point this is fixed right click float and then i want this to be in the origin of se to origin sc and the part selected and we travel there good what is missing our pin and some other things uh, let's model one more part one plane we will model a pin it will look like something like this okay and here i will define an arc but we will do it later so let's do in this way convert to the construction geometry hmm? and uh, here i have 105 here i have two and a half here i have eight to be able to give a diametral dimension you need to have a, a construction line don't forget here we have 16 also you need to move your mouse to the other side to get it now what we are uh, missing here this one and a radius from here to here and take an arc you want to think how this crazy guy made it you pick a line you continue to a place click mouse left now without clicking to come to this point and then program going to give you an arc here i need to define a height of three and this is what we want it is okay and we make revolve this is also good chamfer 0 0.5 Sorry, 0 0.5 didn't write. And close it. Save it, in fact. We go back to assembly. Now I want to bring that bastard here. Come. Select this one. If you don't want to do that, you press Alt and bring it to a point, and you're going to get automatic relations didn't work here then we complete by ourselves exit preview sorry mate select this master and select this one yes it's good i see this is a bit bigger and i want to evaluate measure means okay this is 14 we're gonna save this essay this will be example x Zero, zero, zero. Okay, then we can save it. Right click, edit part. Now it looks like we are in the part environment. Revolve, sketch. If you click two times, you're gonna see no dimensions. And let's make this 14. Close this, it will renew it. Yes, we have it. Nice. And uh, Everything looks okay, but I would like to define some radiuses. 
and we're gonna make some special operations as well so let's bring this circle clip first toolbox then retaining rings external lock washer create part and then groove the damer 7 will be the one that we would like to have and we close this we go back to our SE insert components this guy is here yeah yes it defines something but it didn't work no mate sighting related to that guy no so we're gonna make it by ourselves select a round surface select this one so we're gonna place somewhere this high we're gonna open this part okay the bottom surface is sketch convert outer diameter create one another one here we're gonna make 6.75 okay this looks good extrude cut offset from base with 3.25 this direction and 1.1 cutting so I cut here a ring now you will see and little chamfer always will be helpful 0 0.12 let's do that no sharp edges guys otherwise production guys will curse you all day if you do this kind of amateur design sharp edges not appreciated they are cutting hands and also you can be really in a subject of in the office politics by doing this kind of amateuristic behavior take care yes this guy is here it looks good but still we have some improvement points let's open this handsome guy and make some changes move face this this and this two flip direction yes it is nice fill it and radius to one here one here let's come closer it looks good huh how, how nicely model uh, changing now when you add these the details we're gonna do same here flip direction move face it too it is offset simply if you can't find it here because I added by myself you go here I think it was face yes here you use it offset by two you could make it by a uh, offsetting your sketch as well huh? in the beginning we cut these things but yeah this is this is looks better huh? you see in the SE you control them I make sometimes extra operations uh, to make you understand extra commands and uh, see different way of workings. This really looks good, guys. Of course, in this design, there is no, for example, tolerancing, you know, everything touching sharp. This is not right. You need to give a space in between objects because play important. There should be play to be able to move. Otherwise, everything will be fixed. So I don't cover these things. For example, strength calculations as well this should go strength calculation what is the the, the weight of that door huh? this kind of things also important but this is not the topic of this video we just learn how to model now how to use solidworks in a better statement and then i open mate standard mates advanced mates and here we have an very nice command you put here 180 you put here zero and you select two surface nice and then when you complete it you have a, a 180 millimeter 80 degree uh, rotational hinge this can work a little bit more maybe even 100 uh, 270 that's why i didn't check it 
170. Oh, it didn't make. Okay. I didn't notice. Can't you make 181, for example? Oh, interesting. Okay. Maybe we need to use a hinge for that operation, but yeah, I will not bother myself now. It looks good, guys. I hope you could follow it. And uh, yeah, if you like it, hit the like button, support my channel. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.